Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, January 8th. It's the first week after the Epiphany in week one in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this uh, service, uh, Psalm 4, and Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 through 14. And now, join me please in singing the third verse of <clears throat> Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. Come see the wonders of our God. How glorious are your ways. In Moses' hand you put your rod and cleaves the frightened seas. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hear me when I call, O oh God of righteousness. Hallelujah, Psalm 4, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. You freed me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O mortal children, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek false gods? But know that God has set apart the godly. When I call, God will hear. Stand it on, do not sin, and ponder upon your bed, and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in God. Many say, who will show us any good? O God, bestow the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine increased. I will lay down in peace and sleep, for only you, my God, make me dwell in safety. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his broad, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven, and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will. So that we who were the first to set our hope in Christ 
might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people to the praise of his glory. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. For those who battle cancer, especially Susan, for the victims of violence in their families, especially Rob and Margo, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O righteous God, hear our prayer and have mercy upon us. Free us from all distress and grant us your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.